You revel and worship in your high canopied cathedrals, living in closed gated communities of sordid and sordid class. High on the hill of willful ignorance, yours is a glass house of two-way mirrors installed the wrong way. And yet I fall for you. I follow you, I come and go for you through the back door, through tunnels, underneath the floors, unseen, unheard, but you know and I know, but all that matters is you wake up serviced at morning and in twilight. I was raised to love your skin, to believe you to be beautiful for your hair, your face, the length of your bones, and I resist. I will not be defined by my proximity to you because you are not the status quo, and I've always been an overachiever. You want to run, you want to hunt, you tell me you love me but need to see other people. I race along as your hound and howl as you find other conquest. You're on a horse, I'm on the ground, sniffling at your next version of me. My passive aggression, feigning acceptance of your vagrant libido only makes me uglier to you. My resigned, resilient commitment to us melts into quiet, clinging desperation that only makes you run faster and tear harder from the only family I ever chose. Because I'm not your best anything. Because I am your summer in the villa, and you are my winter in the prairies. Because I have so much more to lose than you. I can't love you because there aren't other options. It doesn't matter that you can cry to your mother when our home breaks a little more, and I'm left cleaning the debris. It doesn't even matter that mother I don't call lives a lifetime away in some foreign Chinese closet waiting for citizenship. I love you regardless of your shade. I will always be grateful for you that you taught me to read in this backward tongue, left to right, up and down, lapping up the rim, and if anything and everything you're willing to expel, isn't that right? I can do a good job for you. I lay this track, weaving my story into your map, playing along for far too long within the edges of your design, waiting to discover your flag planted on the frontier of me. I do a good job for you. I bow down to your cow's house, you appropriating this land for you, taking the blame and wearing the internment because I am an alien anyway. I do good job for you. I brave this cold so you can deepen your reach, seeking earthy bones as gold as my skin, dividing earthy blood as black and as cold and as my black as my hair, and crude as my frostbitten limbs. I do good job for you. In all your queer, queenly monarchy, I am but a grain of rice, one lady boy waiting to do good job for you. I'll die because of you. I do for you. I die for mine. I do.